What is this, honey? Why is Nikki being a mean girl? Never did I think I would see the day where Nikki was pulling down another black artist. I'm not a huge mulatto fan, and that is how I was when I was miserable. Nikki is having to defend her damn husband literally every day. It's getting tiring, and that's gonna make you aggravated alone. He hit that game at the carnival. That was my first red flag with him. Hey loves, it's time the infamous here and welcome back to my channel, girl. We are gonna jump right into this look. You guys love this look. You saw it when I did my makeup room tour, makeup collection. So if you guys missed that, go check it out. Make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel. And a lot of you guys have been asking for some new giveaways. If you wanna win this box of brow goodies from Benefit, just subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment down below, girl, and you are entered. Ooh, we are doing full glam today. I'm super hyped. And this wig is from Princess Hair Plug. That is my virgin hairline wig line, you guys. There is a fall 20% off sale going on right now, you guys. So click the link below, go to Princess Hair Plug and stock up on your bundles, frontals, wigs, all that stuff. The hair tutorial for this is on my TikTok, at time the infamous. So you can go see what I used for this. The link is below for my cute little skirt set. So happy fall, you guys. I'm so happy to be back. We're gonna be doing some full glam and let's get right into it. Girl, I just got off of my TikTok live with you guys and y'all are too much. It was too much going on over there. You guys be trying to come for me talking about Time loves her some Del Taco, and I thought, girl, I do not even be having Del Taco a lot. But then, here we are. You guys know I get the Vegan Beyond Tacos. Girl, the fall weather has hit, in my mind, because in Vegas, it's still high mid. 80s but in my mind it is full-blown fall and girl that is okay so i'm going in with the mac studio fix mattified primer oh my gosh and i just got these beautiful flowers from benefit thank you benefit so much this was in collaboration with fresh sins you guys can order and receive flowers directly through the mail i love that so i'm just going to be applying this we're not doing the heavy silicone primers like we used to i knew i needed a long wearing combo so i went in with the mac studio fix fluid in nc40 and who to beauty in Tres Leches and oh my gosh you guys do you see how pale I am I have been on my healthy like non-chemical journey girl and I have not been doing myself tanners like chemicals who is she like I do not know her girl she has checked out the rare beauty luminizer and that's why I was always advocating to you guys for years, trying to get the best higher end products that your budget allow for because of those forever chemicals that are in those products. So these do not bother me. Okay, and let me zoom you guys in. Let's get a little cozy. Oh, and if you guys did not see my makeup tour video, check that out. And I uh, do not do as much foundation as I used to. You do want to put the foundation directly on any blemishes or any red splotches I know you guys are gonna come for me like you always do my beauty blender was damp earlier but it has dried out this is the elf one still my fave the Mac lightful C softening lotion spray you just want a ton of moisture. Okay, you guys, so what is going on with our queen, Nikki? I love me some Nikki. You guys know I'm a barb. I have been for about 13 years now, like since my space days. Like, yeah, you may want to call yourself a barb, but were you on my space with Be Me Up Scotty with her banner as the Wonder Woman? I was. Nikki can do no wrong in my eyes. I don't care what no one says because usually everything that she has is fitting the facts and it's factual and it's actual. But lately, this stuff 
with her and Lotto. I don't know. I, I try to turn a blind eye to it because you know, she was talking about the Grammys category and why is Super Freaky Girl in pop and Lotto's song Big Energy in rap. And you know, that is Nikki's industry. That's her field. You know, she be seeing things behind the scenes that we don't see. She's been in this for so long. She knows what be up, you know? So I was like, okay, you know, that's fair. But then, you know, it just kept going and going. And then that's when I saw her make some statements about like, if he keeps going like this with the industry before we know it, like the rap category is gonna be all white women. Or I think she said all white. I was like, hmm, okay. You know, the first thing that's coming to my mind is Jack Harlow, you know, but then girl, she was up here talking about Lotto. And I was like, no, Nikki did not. She's talking about, you know, Lotto is a Karen. Karens are only referred to who are white women. And now we know Lotto is mixed, white mother, black father. I get that, but never in a million years. Oh, you guys, that's the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, which, oh, I've been loving this. This is in the color 2W because it's just very natural. And I'm gonna go in with my Girl Miss Thing Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and Butter. And I was like, never did I think I would see the day where Nikki was kind of pulling down another black artist, female artist, like in that way, based off of color or, you know, her specific mix. Because I'm just like, whoa, okay, she was brave with that one. Especially Lotto coming from ATL. We've seen her on the rap game, you know, black dad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and let me preface this by saying, and freak, I forgot before I sent my powder to do my bronzer, my cream bronzer. I have the new Chanel Le Beige, and this is the new deeper color. Look at this. Yes, Chanel, they finally got a deeper color, you guys. I'm not a huge Mulatto fan, not in a bad way, but just in a, I think her songs are great, but I just be waiting for them to get better type of vibe. So don't think that, you know, I'm like, Team Lotto or nothing like that. Yeah, girl, never did I think I would see the day where Nikki call her out on not being black. I thought that was super distasteful, especially since she's a deeper skinned woman. I feel like I never thought Nikki would even think that or, you know, sometimes I put that with, well, are you insecure with your color? Because never did I ever think either like, Oh, Lotto's not black, like, you know what I mean? So when she said that, I was like, okay, an eyebrow went up and I was like, when it went from like the business side, but when it went from that to like a personal jab, that's when I was like, hmm, something's up. So this is what I shared on my TikTok, which if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, head on over there, time the infamous. You guys, I think that Nicki Minaj is miserable in her marriage or in her personal life right now. Like it got me thinking like, huh, why is Nicki being a meme girl? Like she used to always be for women empowerment and lifting other women up and you know, never feeling like threatened or anything. And now it just seems the complete opposite to me. And that is how I was you guys when I was miserable. I was mean, I was super protective, I was sensitive. And I kind of just feel like that's how Nicki Minaj has been like slowly building up. Someone else agreed with me on this that it started around the when the Queen album dropped. I'm kind of putting this towards her personal life with her husband. And as a barb of 13 years, you know, I feel like that's why I can speak on this because I have seen her through all of the years. And it just seems like as of late, she's just not super happy. Is it just me? Okay, girl, I had to blend that out real quick before I continue because that I was looking crazy. But so never have I ever 
seen Nicki Minaj defending her throne the way she has been. Like a lot of people have said, girl, you do not need to be defending anything. You are Nicki Minaj. Like, you are the queen. Like, especially with these up and coming rappers who haven't even proven themselves for like five plus years. So that's when I start thinking like, it is something deeper than this. And I truly believe like for one, Nikki is having to defend her damn husband literally every day. Like I can imagine having to do that every damn day is getting tiring and that's gonna make you aggravated alone. I just feel like she's just kind of had like, you know, a chip on her shoulder a little bit, like because people have been coming for her with that all the time. And then, you know, she was smitten, you know, when she got with him, but she wasn't like completely happy. You know, it kind of felt like a settling vibe coming from her just showing her happiness. Of course, she is super wealthy. Is she expecting him to provide for her financially? Probably not. But, you know, after the honeymoon stage, girl, he could be getting on her nerves. Like, yes, I think she absolutely loves her son, is just so thankful to him for giving, you know, her, her son. But, you know, we don't know behind scenes because they don't be looking like super happy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm only saying this based off of like, we've known her from what we've seen, you know, from the public eye. We know when... Uh, Nikki is happy when she's not, when she's irritable, when she's like in her grind, when she's like just on top and in her queen energy. And I just feel like she has not been in that energy. She's been more of a possessive kind of trying to control things energy. And that's usually when your personal life is out of control or you don't have control in other aspects. Okay, I'm taking my MAC 286 S brush and I'm just gonna go in with Fully Baked from my Cake Face palette. And look how saturated that little bit is. And that goes for a lot of people, you know, people will start just getting really nasty and just having a mean girl attitude like when they're not happy with their own lives. You know what I mean? And it's crazy because like no one has talked about this side of it. There's just been like little things like for example, we know that her husband is, you know, an alpha male that was very clear from the time that he hit that game at the carnival, which for me, that was my first red flag with him, but I'ma just keep it moving. You know, Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj. She can be who whatever she wants to be with, girl. But I did know from coming from, you know, an abusive past that, that for me personally, that would have been a red flag. Not how hard he hit it, but the demeanor, the look in his eye, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So I'm gonna go into my little mini sunset palette by Natasha Denona. You guys, I love this thing. And I'm just kind of picking up a little bit of this lightest color. But anyway, what I'm saying is that he's obviously an alpha male, but there was like some video on YouTube where he was getting followed by the paparazzi and he was picking up some food for Nicki Minaj. And it's just like, you could just tell like the dynamic isn't right. Like, you know, that has to kind of be hard for him being with such a powerful woman because that's just not who he is and people can. And I'm gonna go in with you guys to get a nice base on my lid before I went in with the glitter. So people can, you know, show a great best behavior in the beginning for a long time and then you know when that honeymoon phase is kind of over and you start seeing them true colors i'm just thinking like is our queen truly happy you know what i'm saying like i'm not getting those vibes like when a woman is happy and in her feminine girl she cannot be stopped she is not speaking ill of anyone. Kourtney Kardashian, for example. Girl, 
do you see how giggly and bubbly and fun just unbothered Kourtney Kardashian is now, girl? My point exactly. Just start carving out my eyes and do this kind of nice and high. I have to switch mirrors because I want you guys to still be able to see, but I do have to lift my mirror up on this part because what you wanna do, you wanna lift your head up a little and you want to look straight into the mirror to cut your crease. And I kind of go a little high on the inside and then do a dramatic drop down and then wing it out. So you see what I'm saying? When you're in that happy energy girl, nobody can bring you down. Nobody could really get to you. So like, for example, even the way that Lotto has been handling this, I think she has done really well. Like she's been really respectful, but also too, she does like understand the business sides of things. And you know, if something don't work out or whatever, Another thing that I'm getting from her is I'm getting the like, I'm blessed vibe. Girl, you could go over there with that energy. You ain't gonna make or break me like, you know what I mean? Okay, so to define the crease a little bit more, I'm gonna go into here, into this brown. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Miss Huda Beauty palette, the rose gold, the old palette, girl. So I'm gonna first go in with Bossy because I was doing the burgundy vibe. I needed a little bit of red up in here. And this I'm gonna drag all the way out. Now I'm gonna go in with Coco, this dark brown. Girl, I am loving sitting down with you guys and just getting back to some full glam and just some girl talk. Now, girl, we are going into the one and only Time the Infamous Hobby Lobby Glitter. Like, this right here is just crazy to me. You guys, these are the original ones. And so I'm just going in... Oh my God, did I go in with the gold or the champagne? Wait, I have to go back and look at my tutorial. Oh my gosh, you guys. This Nicki Minaj video, I just posted it. It already has 20,000 views and like 250 comments. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is blowing up. Yes. That is so exciting. Like, if you guys do not know that I'm on TikTok, go follow me. I've been doing a ton of stuff on there because I just like the short format. I like how you don't have to get dressed up. You can be yourself. I haven't had like a viral video in a little bit now. So I'm so excited that that one hit. It kind of seems like it's a mix. Oh, oh. you guys, why didn't you tell me? I can look on the brush. Hello, okay. That is the champagne -y color. Oh my God, babe. I mean, I was about to say, babe, why do I want to cry? You guys, like, why do I want to cry? Because I didn't get emotional when I put the glitter on before just doing my makeup on my own, but doing a tutorial with the glitter like I used to back in the day is just crazy to me. Oh my gosh, you guys. So after looking at my TikTok, there is an update on the Nikki Lotto situation. We're going to get into that right after I do this liner. Okay, you guys. So I put on my outfit. This wig is from Princess Hair Plug. These are the pro bundles and a frontal. And I made the wig myself. The hair dye is on my TikTok. I did a hair tutorial on there for you guys. So go check that out at Time the Infamous. I was like doing full glam and everything but with my new vibe I still want it to be a little edgy so that's why I did not like 
flat iron it and make it look super perfect like I wanted it to still have a vibe to it. So this hair is only blow dried. This is by The Beauty of Guns. They sent these to me like so long ago. You guys, I have not worn lashes in a year or nails and I'm actually loving it. This is in real one. Putting on my mascara. This is the Dior Show Blackout Waterproof. Putting on my lip plumper, the Too Faced Lip Plumper Extreme. Going in on the bottom with the cake face in fully baked and the inner corner with you guys. Now girl, don't think I forgot about the finale. I'm just trying to speed up this part. The brown. The cake face cherry on top. Along the bottom. Smolder by MAC Eyeliner in the wet line. Popping my lashes on. Finally, bottom mascara. Mascara on the lashes. But I'm putting it on in gaps, so not all the way across. Finally dusting off this bake, you guys. MAC Studio Fix Powder in C4. And this is just going to smooth this out even more. Okay, girl, so for the finale, and this is Mac Strip Down, I said I went on my TikTok and I have an update. For one, a lot of people are agreeing with me that yes, she could be miserable in her marriage or she is just unhappy in her personal life and some people were throwing out, and this is the KKW number one, that it can be that mixed with postpartum you guys and I am just like oh my gosh oh this is my favorite drugstore lipstick you guys L'Oreal Color Riche in Ultra Nude 984 someone also pointed out that she has been talking a lot about mental health lately Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics liquid lipstick in nudie. Isn't that interesting? And I think it's so sad because as a huge public figure like that, you know, how or when is she ever going to come out and, you know, be able to share that and be like, yeah, I have postpartum depression. You know what I'm saying? It's just, so I hope that if she does, you know, feel that way or that's something at all, I just, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Patience, please. I just hope that is not the case. But that was very interesting. At the end of the day, let me know your thoughts. Is Nikki right in this situation? Is Waddle right in this situation? Oh my gosh. I do not know why people are not raving about the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. It is just absolutely beautiful. This is in the color 3 Tan Light. You guys, look how this goes on. Look at that! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I have never had a bronzer go on as beautiful as this. Now, what's amazing about this bronzer, I just feel like it has like some type of silicone, something in there. So it also kind of fills in any of like, you know, these holes that you can have on the side of your face. I know the girls who get it, get it, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Like the texture, kind of post acne marks. It just literally airbrushes on here. Okay, so I'm going into my MAC palette, these MAC blushes. First, I'm starting off with Style. And this is just like this peachy, pinkish, shimmery. These are the real deal. These do not come to play. A little bit of cantaloupe. And this is matte, so it's just going to kind of mattify that, blur it out a little bit. Let me put my gloves on. This also comes with the gloves. This just is giving all the vibes. We are not done yet. We have one last thing. I am going to show you guys. 
the perfume that I have just been obsessed with for the fall. The Billie Eilish is just, oh my gosh, for one, everything. Oh, it's very giving bourbon, cognac, brown sugar, fall vibes. So I'm going in with that. KKW Courtney Green Diamond. These two together, you guys. This one is a little sweeter, so it gives more of like the frosted brown sugar when you put these together. And there's a little bit of apple in here, so it kind of gives it that like fall bouquet. Oh my gosh. So that is it, you guys. I will see you guys here next week, same day, same time. I am vlogging this week, so I've been, well, vlogging today, literally right now. I've been doing a cozy fall vlog. I'm hosting a pumpkin carving party. I'm making chili, vegan chili, cornbread, apple cider, girls. That'll be next week's video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys later.